In this video, I'm going to be making an elixir that's really going to initiate and potentiate some real positive shifts and positive momentum in my mental and emotional state. It's going to do that by primarily three things. First would be this blue mana, which is an extract of algae, which essentially is high in PEA, or uh, which is phenylethylamine, which we'll talk about later. Second is Makuna, which is going to help to elevate levels of dopamine and hopefully synergize quite well with the algae. And then lastly, some cacao powder because it has amounts, small amounts of anandamide and PEA and other feel-good chemicals that within synergy with the Makuna and PEA are really just going to create a state of maybe euphoria, maybe general well-being to put it generically. But it's um, something I'm going to experiment with for the primary purpose, just to see how it affects my meditation. It's not just for pure hedonism, which you could definitely use this drink for. You could use it for more therapeutic purposes if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling beat down, if you're feeling just sad. This can definitely work. So, in the blender, I already have 16 ounces of water, a few tablespoons of honey, or okay, real in reality probably less than a tablespoon of honey about a tablespoon of coconut oil and a few tablespoons of soaked chia seeds so to start it off i'll go ahead and just add a few squirts of the um ionic trace angstrom minerals just to add obviously minerals to the drink and these are easy to incorporate into your drinks whether that be a tea or pretty much any kind of beverage you're drinking because they don't really have a taste. Slightly salty would be an exaggeration, but it'll work in this drink because this is slightly salty and it has minerals. So the saltness will help round out the flavors and balance out the sweetness. So now we might as well just get to our heavy hitters here, which I had a spoon around here somewhere, which let me locate that. Actually, so let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, okay. Here it was. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the heavy hitters of this drink. So we're gonna start off with the blue mana, which uh, we'll add. Let's see, probably about third of a tablespoon. Let's. About half a tablespoon of the blue mana, which is actually quite high. Let's see what the recommended dose is. Adults, a third of a teaspoon daily. Children, half of the adult recommendation. So I just took about half a tablespoon. So probably significant uh, magna magnitude or exponential increase for the RDA, but. I've done a lot of this stuff before, it's quite fun, it's pretty safe, and you can do it. Uh, one caveat here, one anecdote, is that you can get this stuff in the liquid form also, in just, I think, an 8-ounce bottle. I think that runs about 30 or so dollars, and there have been occasions where myself and a friend have bought that bottle, defrosted it, and then literally split it up into two 4-ounce shots and chugged the whole thing. And that will leave you feeling pretty good. So if you need to get going for a test, if you need to get going for some sort of event where you need a lot of mental power, or you just want to feel really, really good, for like $15, if you go in with a friend, it's a really good way to do it. You feel really, really good. You rest really well that night. Um, I've also, I think, drank an entire bottle by myself. Eight ounces over the course of a day. Felt really good. Um, a little bit of cleansing and detoxification, but I've lived to tell about it. So just, just throwing that out there as something you can do if you feel like it. And if you have, you know, $15, $30 that you want to invest in boosting your mood. So the next ingredient is going to be, I guess, about a half a tablespoon of Makuna extract. So Makuna is going to boost L-Dopa and the phenylethylamine is endogenous in the brain. Also is occurring in algae, cacao, as well as some psychedelic plants. So um, this whole cocktail here is really going to do some nice things for my neurochemistry as well as 
hopefully my meditation. So the next ingredient is going to be, I guess, a tablespoon of cacao powder, which I think that'll be enough. You could obviously do two tablespoons. I could easily do that in this drink, but I, I don't really want to push the stimulation envelope too hard um, because sometimes chocolate can have that effect, especially in higher doses, um, depending on you know how sensitive you are, where you're at, with your nervous system, etc. The next ingredient is or was essentially about half a teaspoon of green stevia powder, just whole stevia ground up. Boom, real easy, tastes great. Helps to just balance the sweetness of the, the honey so that I can use less honey, add a little bit of stevia, and overall the whole drink ends up being a lot sweeter. So the next ingredient, the last ingredient, is going to be actually, yes, full scoop of the uh, full processed native whey protein. And actually, I lied it a little bit because. That wasn't the last ingredient. The last ingredient is going to be some vanilla bean powder, which I will get my hands on right now. Uh, here we go. And yes, just a little nice tip. If you have, let's say, a big bag of vanilla bean powder like this, you keep it sealed up in the refrigerator. It will stay fresher longer. So I'm going to add, I guess, just under a tablespoon of the vanilla bean powder because vanilla bean center drives with chocolate obviously and vanilla has its own energy to it. Just smelling it can create changes in your consciousness and are really center drive well with the other ingredients in this drink. So I'm gonna blend this up. I'll be back to let you know how it tastes. Alright so my drink is done blending. As you can see it's this nice white kind of dark bluish tinge color to it. So I'm going to pour this in my nifty tea slash elixir cup and give it a taste. Flavor wise, actually really good. Definitely just tastes like chocolate milk with a lot of vanilla. Like a lot of vanilla. And then a subtle undertone of what I think to be the algae but mostly just vanilla. It's a really delicious drink. Really good recipe, and it's really gonna boost my meditation uh, in a little bit. Which one thing I meant to add earlier at the at the um, front of the video is that if you're wondering, hey, or you're thinking, hey, he looks a little sleepy right now. What's going on? Well, I just woke up about 15 minutes ago, had some water, and usually I wake up, have water, meditate, or actually wake up, have water, do supplements, meditate then make a drink or then just eat breakfast. But I thought this drink will really be ideal and be best and be probably fun to do before I meditate. So I wanted to film it, share the recipe with you. So hopefully you can make this and hopefully get some benefit from your life or benefit from your drink that will improve some experience in your life. So I'm gonna go drink this and meditate. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll talk to you soon.